Uh, here we go. Superi. Superi. E4. Let's see. What should I play here? Uh, how about a French defense? Okay. <clears throat> G3. <laughs> what the heck is that? Now let's continue with D5 and see how it works out. I can take and uh, gain the tempo on his bishop, I guess. And what now? Bishop to um, c5. Maybe coordinate with the knight on the f7 square there. See if he wants to do anything about that. That also slows down the uh, pawn push to d4. <laughs> so if I play knight here now or here, either one is possible. What does he do? Oh, he's going to play... Um, <clears throat> he is going to play d4 four then because he'll have the knight and the uh, queen supporting it let's uh, castle then and um, how to develop I'm gonna put the knight on c6 and see if he wants to take it he's not inclined to take it okay I'm wondering about this. So he's going to kick the bishop. The bishop will probably drop back to e7 here. I'm thinking of defending the knight so that I can play um, uh, b6 here and bishop b7. Get a bishop to counter his bishop on this diagonal. So he gained space in the center there and gained back the tempo. So white. White should be fine here. So if I play b6 and he brings his queen out to a4, I can play bishop to uh, b7, and everything is protected. Or so it seems to me. Queen a4 is not the only move here. He could start pushing a pawn. But he did queen a4. It's kind of logical. My queen is defended by the knight, so the knight is not pinned in this direction. And it could go to uh, a5 and defend the bishop. So even if he managed to get a lot of pressure, I can still unwind here. Um, but if I defend my bishop, then I will have more uh, options. Let's uh, pause for just a second. Though. If I take something, like knight takes um, knight takes d4 here, and he takes my queen, then I can take his knight with check. And if he doesn't take my queen, what else is he going to play? Bishop takes bishop, I take his queen. He's got to defend his queen or move it or take my queen. So knight takes, queen takes, knight takes here, check, king moves, knight takes, queen. And then um, my bishop is hanging is the problem. So let's, uh, let's defend the bishop. <laughs> Took a long time to get that, but I think that's the way to play it. Yeah, it just didn't work out. It's an interesting tactic, but... So now, if nothing changes, and I play knight takes d4, he takes my queen, I take here with check, he moves, and I take the queen back, and my bishop is defended, and I'm actually a piece up at that point. You know, in the, even in the other line, I was a pawn up. Maybe I should have gone ahead and played that. I was forgetting that I had captured a piece. He captures a piece. It's giving up a good bishop, though. To win a pawn, give up the bishop pair. It's not always entirely clear. It is a center pawn, though. Uh, 
Rook to um, d1 would put a stop to my plans because at the end uh, his queen would be protected. So when I take it back, he could take whatever piece I take the queen with. Well, it's another case in which I would be a pawn up. Say rook d1, knight takes d4, queen takes queen, knight takes knight, check. Okay, but he did none of that. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do this then. So I'm a piece up. Yeah, he can take there. It's a tempo on my um, it's a tempo on my rook, but he just gained a pawn, right? So he got the pawn back, and I stay a piece up as I see it. Maybe this knight is trapped. Maybe the knight is trapped. Well, here, let's hit his bishop. And it's also his bishop is in line with his knight, so I can lose this knight and gain this one. Nice little tactics here. Yeah, it's better to take there. His uh, his bishop is hanging, but it was defended by the knight. Let me take here and stay. Uh, I can stay two pieces up. Okay, so he resigned there. Anyway, short game, but uh, kind of fun. I think I will upload this, and we'll check that out in the postmortem to see if I could have played that tactic a move earlier. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.